The media tends to portray Africa in a negative light, showing you only the shortcomings. But I'm here to show you otherwise. I'm Hannah Neely, and it has always been a passion and unique journey of mine to showcase to the world the true beauty and innovation behind Africa. In Kakamega County, Western Kenya, a $2 billion community-owned sustainable city is currently being built, similar to a real version of the fictional city, Wakanda. Let's take a step forward into the future of Africa. I was invited by KE International, an American engineering and infrastructure consulting firm that specializes in the establishment of large-scale, sustainable, and renewable projects worldwide. I went to one of their projects, their current project in Western Kenya, where they are currently developing Mwale Medical and Technology City, named after Mr. Julius Mwale, tech entrepreneur, philanthropist, and main investor. My vision was to transform lives. Yeah, how many people can I pull out of poverty? And MMTC has helped impact about 2 million people in Akakamega County in Western Kenya. And as it put, pulls them out of poverty, increases their wealth, yeah, I think you know I'm on my way towards that vision. Located in Western Kenya, the entire city is being built by using renewable sources of energy, including thousands of solar-powered streetlights. We've been able to build a Mwale Medical and Technology City yeah, in Kenya. So it's a green city running 100% on green energy. And so it's important as we develop going forward, yeah, we need to be able to look at uh, protecting the environment. Mr. Mwale started from humble beginnings like many of us, but never let that deter his goal of changing and impacting lives. I was born in Kenya. I was born in Kenya and I uh, trained as a telecommunications engineer and I came in the United States. Uh, under difficult conditions. I ended up in a shelter in New York City, uh, stayed there for about a year uh, to get political asylum, and then I uh, founded a biometrics company, uh, you know, in 2003, uh, which I uh, was able to grow and get me to invest two billion dollars in Mwale Medical Technology City in Kenya, uh, which has 35,000 residents and has the largest hospital in the world. Africa is such a young continent with the average population age at 20 years old, Mr. Mwale realized they would need jobs in order to want to stay in Africa. So he created an opportunity for everyone to have better medical care and to gain employment through his medical technology city. It is making us more wealthier than where we were. And the environment is changing and the security has improved. And that is very good with it. And now, if we have the uh, airport here and we have doctors who are not local, we shall have doctors from all over the world. And these doctors will be giving us very good treatment. And that will be very nice for us to have uh, resources that we are not going to have if we remain in that old village where nobody uh, could come up with such a project. The heart of the city is Hamptons Hospital, which welcomes patients for cancer, along with other treatments. There is also a 36-hole golf course, a Mwale Mart, residential development, and so much more. MMTC is the first fully integrated development plan of its scale, and it is being implemented without relocating the local community. A big change, very big change, and uh, uh, it is God-given, you know, uh, god sent so that we can benefit from these things, and they are good. The project's success has been attributed to its model of reaching out to locals like Gilbert Lechuda and establishing relationships, resulting in most of them donating huge tracts of ancestral land to the project to benefit themselves as well as MMTC. To leave the world better, more better than the time you found it, because when you were born, some things were happening. But you, before you die, you do some better things so that tomorrow, in your absence, these other people you are leaving behind, like your children, your grandchildren, and so on, they can benefit from what you did. So you don't destroy the world. You, you make it a better place for you to live and other generations to follow. The locals' lives have been positively impacted by this model since trading land has come with newly constructed homes, as well as several rental units that act as residences 
for the ever-increasing number of project workers. MMTC has already created employment for over 1,000 youths in the area, attracted global leading technology companies, along with hundreds of international investors, grown a large spike in tourism interest, and led international superstars, including Senegalese American singer, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, Akon, to want to get involved. So Akon City is a cryptocurrency city. It's a $6 billion city built on the coast of uh, Senegal, uh, uh, south of Dakar, about 110 uh, kilometers out of, of uh, Dakar in Senegal. And it was founded by Akon, you know, the superstar, the music superstar Akon, who is a Senegalese, uh, you know, American. And it's going to run on Acoin, a currency called Acoin. It's a cryptocurrency right now being tested and run at uh, Mwale Medical and Technology City. Yeah, you know, in Kenya. So the city, Akon City, is supposed to be a home for African Americans, you know, from the United States coming in to be able to uh, uh, get uh, jobs and get residences and be able to move into the motherland, you know, in Africa, in a city, in a Wakanda-like city, yeah, that will be able to help them, uh, you know, live uh, fulfilled lives. Both cities welcome all members of the African diaspora as a home away from home. I'm Hannah Neely. And this is the future of Africa.